Hey everyone, today I'll show you the best low risk money making run in the Cycle Frontier full release. For players that took part in either of the betas, you'll be familiar with this run, but if you are a new player, then you will definitely want to learn this route and strategy. The most consistent means of making money and increasing your reputation is through farming focus crystals in the jungle. Each rare focus crystal sells for 961k marks and increases faction reputation by 10, and each epic focus crystal sells for 2,883 and increases faction rep by 29. So not only are you going to be making a lot of money with these runs, but you're also increasing your reputation at a really fast rate. Now things in the jungle have changed since the beta, and in some respects this run is actually easier than it was before, but in other respects a little bit more difficult. I'll dive into the details of the run in a moment, but first let's talk about your loadout. For this run, I recommend the Manticore because of its ability to kill all monsters with relative ease, and we will need to kill monsters, including Marauders. But don't worry though, I have an easy method to kill the Marauders with virtually no risk of getting hit by his spit. For the rest of the gear, green tier armor, helmet, and backpack are pretty easy to acquire, so I definitely recommend that. But you can do this with white armor and white backpack if needed. I have a video up on the channel showing my favorite new player loadout, which I'll have a link in the description below for if you want to learn how to farm for the greens. Otherwise, let's dive into the jungle route now. I'm going to go ahead and just walk through this entire run with you guys so you see everything. We just landed in the north jungle spawn, so pretty good spawn to have if you're trying to do a jungle run, probably the best spawn. And you're just going to rotate right into the jungle, and this is actually the jungle extract up here on my right. and. I'm gonna hug the right wall coming in here. And we're gonna slow down because we have a Jeff on the left. You know, sometimes Jeff will not aggro you, but most of the time he will. So we're gonna be in the business of de-aggroing this Jeff. That's the first thing that we're gonna do. And there he is, he yelled at me. I'm gonna now switch to a stem or you can use your knife or whatever and just run it out. And you're gonna de-aggro Jeff. Now there's focus crystal on the left here. There's a couple more spawns for nodes right there, but we're running past it because we wanna de-aggro before we go back and mine those nodes. So we're running, still hugging right wall. There's gonna be a jump up here on the right. And we're gonna take this, and then we're gonna take this again. You can actually make that jump. I chose not to make that jump because there actually is a guy firing and trying to kill a Jeff up on the other side of this. So I wanted to come up from a different angle. I wasn't sure how close he was. And we're gonna go and rotate out and see where he's at. But I do wanna show you right up here on the right, there is a jump up on the right here. And this is what's most important to know is this jump up here because this is where you can de-aggro the first Jeff, the one that we just saw, and this is where we're going to be when we're killing Jeff easily without being victim to his swipe and we're just dodging his spit. And you can get up where those birds are and you can also get up behind, you can get up on both sides of this rock. But we're basically we're going to end up using that tree right there to kind of block all the spit and just strafe out and kill Jeff. Now here's the guy. We want to kill him really quick. Unfortunate timing for him. But actually this guy is representing another spot that you can be on as well i prefer my spot because you can reach it from both the side that i came from and the side that he came from which was through jungle camp which will be there in a minute but most importantly there's a lot more protection up here and it's much easier to dodge the jeff spit okay now we're going to go down and take this path on the right here and go down into this area normally there is a jeff here and you are going to shoot that jeff from up where we just dropped down from and you're gonna kill Jeff from that position. There's sometimes up to four to five focus nodes down here and a couple nickel. So we'll hit these and you kind of go through and farm all these. And once we're done with that, we head out and we go right and we're gonna aggro this Jeff and we're gonna run back to the jump up. And there's actually two Jeffs over here. So he probably did aggro the one from earlier. So he's got two Jeffs on him. Um, and we're just gonna go ahead and finish these guys off. So we're just gonna Range him out as much as we can. Once he gets close, we'll sprint away and go to the jump up for safety. There's just no point in risking any damage at all. When you're on green armor, uh, Jeff's swipe is gonna take like 40% of your health and so it's a pretty big deal. So there's like literally no reason to even risk it. Just come up here and use the tree as cover and just do this. And if he spits, you just straight behind the tree, wait for the spit, he just spit, he missed. And then we just do this 
and clear him out. Obviously, if you didn't know, shooting Jeff when his mouth is open will do a critical damage and increase it. But at this point, I just literally unload and take what it, take whatever we get here. Done. And he drops a bone plate. Make sure you loot that. And then we're going to go do the same thing. We're going to grab the other Jeff. And here's me getting up onto this spot as well. You can always check your backside better from this spot also. In case people are coming, you know, you can listen, see if someone's coming from the way we just came. And let's move on to the next focus crystal area. All right, both Jeffs are dead, Marauder's down, and we're gonna check here. So normally there's focus crystal spawns there. They're actually all gone, but you can see a few there. But then you're gonna see another huge chunk over here as well. And we're up still in the north spot of jungle, which is where the predominant focus crystals are. And here we go, we're just gonna farm out all these. There's like six node possibilities here. Again, keep in mind the mining nodes respawn timers are always kind of changing in different times and you're never gonna see a full stack of nodes every single time. So you just take what the game gives you, just hit all the spots, hit all the nodes, and you'll almost certainly have a full backpack. Certainly you'll have a full white backpack and almost certainly a full green backpack as well. Okay, now that we've cleared all those nodes, we're gonna start rotating and continuing hugging the edge. We're actually heading south now towards jungle camp. And for anyone that played the beta, this area was, the whole area, all of jungle was way more dangerous. There was a lot more elite Jeffs, huge aggro reigns, way more creatures. It is massively toned down. That's huge for this run. Okay, so we just went under the fence at jungle camp, and I'm gonna make a separate video on just how to quickly loot jungle camp. In fact, you should always know how to loot this because for some reason, if all the nodes are taken or something, you wanna get something out of your run or you wanna just you know keep checking, uh, for more stuff. This is a great place to loot still. But let's keep on the focus crystal run. So we do have a spawn for focus there and now you can um, go through this fence. Now previously you could take the mountain to the right but they patched that and you can no longer get up on that mountain so you do need to go through the fence in order to access the next area of focus crystals. And we're gonna go hug along this yellow wall here, go out and take a right under the bridge and you're gonna see a bunch of focus nodes down here as well and a lot of them sometimes six as well so this is what i'm saying the, the amount of focus nodes that still exist in jungle is extremely high and the monster aggro and difficulty is much lower than it was so this run is actually easier in a lot of respects okay that is it so we have finished all the focus crystals there are more scattered here and there but as far as like high density clusters we've just hit you know the three biggest spots so you can exit this way go down the path and we take a right and work towards our the comms tower fence or you can double back the way you came um this this run is super easy this is actually old footage sorry but it's the same exact route nothing's changed in the terrain and you're just going to run this way and we jump on this route over here and go down. And you can see comms tower on the right in the distance there. And that's basically our way out. And obviously you can do this entire run in reverse as well. Just getting stand back. And it's, there's one blue Jeff on the right now. It's, there's very little monsters in jungle. There was a, a significant decrease in monster density and the quality of the monsters for the full release of the game. So making this run eas much easier than it used to be. But it's also slightly more difficult in the fact that you do have to come in with a manticore and you do have to take down a couple marauders in doing so, making a lot of noise. So you can still be victim to another player, but being victim to a monster is almost impossible now. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope the video helped you out. If you're looking to find a way back for more Cycle Frontier content, then make sure to drop a sub and I'll catch you in the next one.